Hey there, steak fans. How are we doing this week, guys? It's me, Barry Steak Fries. Great to be here with you. Uh, although, clearly, I'm not actually with you. As you can see, I'm somewhere a little bit different this week. <laughs> That's right. I'm a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> ah, just kidding. It's, don't think we're actually that far away. And, uh, well, it's, it's not, it's not long, long ago, it's, uh, it's now. Uh, that was just a, just a little reference there for all you Trekkies. Ah, uh, anyway, uh, I know what you're thinking, guys. Barry's been abducted by aliens, alright? Not true, first of all. Barry doesn't get abducted, alright? Barry doesn't go anywhere that Barry doesn't want to go, you know? Being abducted against my will, I don't think so. Uh, but I am I am up here uh, hanging out as you can see uh, with some with some uh, you know alien types and uh, just to put everyone's mind at ease I haven't been haven't been probed uh, I did ask apparently apparently they don't do that anymore so yeah never mind more of an 80s thing apparently so uh um anyway anyway moving on we're we're up here we're up hanging out up here seems seems appropriate that i entertain you guys with some space facts that's right it's quite fascinating up here amongst the stars so everyone listen in i'm going to give you a bit of a fascinating insight into what's going down in the galaxy so uh first up um the person who discovered the moon was uh, Keith Moon, I reckon, the famous drummer. Uh, he was drumming along there, playing a gig at Woodstock or whatever, I reckon, and uh, fell backwards off his drum kit, you know, looked up at the sky, saw the moon and went, oh, that's, that's pretty good, that thing there, and uh, named it after his brother, Bob Moon pretty sure uh, anyway he he then went on to uh, record a tribute album to the moon called dark side of the moon pretty sure that was the who wasn't it or Pink Floyd I don't know must have been Keith Moon in some way uh, named so because the moon has a real temper guys you know a real dark side <laughs> uh, uh, anyway uh, what else first person to go walking on the moon uh, was of course Sting, um, or was it Major Tom? Uh, no, no, definitely, definitely the police. Major Tom didn't make it. He, his circus died. There was something wrong. They couldn't hear him. Um, whoo, uh, other famous astronauts, uh, Steve Miller, I guess. You know, some people called him the Space Cowboy. Others called him. Um, some other stuff. I don't know. You, you guys can look it up. I can't look it up. I, full disclosure, I got no Wi-Fi up here, guys. I got no signal. There's no internet anywhere in space. Um, it's a real problem. It's making it very, very hard to to give you guys any space facts because uh, I don't have any. Without the internet to look them up, I, I have none. The only thing I can really talk to you guys about is classic '70s rock, um, and. I've pretty much exhausted my barely limited knowledge on that now, as well. Um... Ah, uh, ah, oh, ah! Oh, oh, I, I can answer some questions, guys. I can answer some questions this week. Took some screenshots of some comments, so I can do that. Because uh, obviously nothing gets in the way of Barry connecting with his fans. Alright? You guys remember that. No galaxy is far, far away enough for that. So let's let's check out what we got this week, guys. First up, Amir says, "What? Cool. That's a great start. Um, all right, Amir. So it's a it's a vlog, a video blog, uh, hosted by me, Barry Steak Fries. Do it each week, sometimes each fortnight, depends. Uh, and each time I record a video, talk about some stuff." answer some questions for some fans 
Uh, don't feel I should have to explain this to you guys anymore. I think this, by now you should know what's going on. If you're posting comments on here, you should probably know what this is. I'm here, so uh, there you go. Let's move on. What do what do we got here? Rishab says you are great, Barry. Can you do a top ten jetpacks? Ah, that's that's a good question, mate. I actually did run through a list of my favourite jetpacks. Uh, I think it was all the way back in episode four. Um, I can't check that again. Got no coverage, uh, but if anyone else wants to go check that out, you can. Uh, feel free to watch any of the old episodes. We've got quite a few now. Um, they would definitely be worth a re -rot, a re rewatch, everyone. Uh, there's probably lots of stuff that you guys have missed because you were busy laughing at all my funny jokes. Uh, but anyway, that's that's a good question there, Rish, uh, Rishab. Maybe maybe I'll do an updated jetpack list on an episode sometime in the future. Uh, Dev Cat, Barry. I want to give you a challenge. Can you be emotionless for one day? Ooh. Good question, Dev Cat. That is a... I, gee, I, I don't know if I can. Honestly. I'm an emotional guy. You know, guys, I'm a... I'm, a, I'm an emotional creature. Might surprise my fans to know that beneath this, this tough, rugged, extremely masculine exterior there is a fragile heart, guys. It can it can hurt just like everyone else. I've got all the emotions. Got all the emotions in here, guys. Sadness, loneliness, sadness. Um, riding a jetpack. Um, so I, I I guess the answer is is no. Uh, great question though. Good to good to explore that. Now let's see what else we got here. Barry McLaren. I have a question for your blog. What can you say about people who don't like robot birds that shoots money? Who, well, who doesn't like birds and money? Uh, right on, Barry. Uh, another, another interesting question. Great name as well. Uh, look, honestly, I have never met anyone who doesn't like robot birds and money. Uh, or robot birds that shoot money, even. Uh, so I, I can't really say for sure. Although I did once know a guy that didn't like birds. Uh, bloke, old man in the unit next door, and uh, he used to sit on the front porch, you know, shake his fist at the birds, swear at them. Uh, he didn't like them at all. Thought they were stealing his mail. Uh, at one point, he accused the trees of listening in on his phone calls. Uh, he muttered things about chemtrails and the government. Uh, it was it was a bit weird. Now that I think about it, um, anyway, we cleared that up. Akade says, "Does Barry play?" PUBG, Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Uh, not really. Not really, Hikari. Good, good question again. Look, i got to be honest, I don't like the concept of this Player Unknown business. You know? I like the player to be known. Like me. Barry Steak Fries. Totally known. You know? I say, take off that mask, mate. Let's see, let's see what you're hiding under there. Um... Also, I, I played Battlegrounds once and I, I, I sucked. I was just, I was terrible. Uh, so I stopped. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, Aaron plays six. I don't know. Aaron plays six days ago. Uh, oh, I stuffed that up, didn't I? I'm going to pause this and go again. Ah, let's see what else we got. Uh, Aaron plays. I'm not happy. Make Dan the man too. Ah, really, guys? Why are you still asking me about this? I, I don't even make the games, for goodness sake. Stop asking about Dan. That's all you've got now, guys? More Dan questions? If everyone else tries to waste my time with more Dan the man questions, I'm going to waste your time with more space-related 70s rock references. <sighs> what else we got? The one Spidey animation guy. Where is my man, Dan? <sighs> Alright. You were warned. That's it. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a long, long time. Till I'm a rocket man. Rocket man. Zooming out and down there alone. Mars ain't the kind of place to raise a kid. 
because the education system is substandard. Rocket man. Rocket man.